Hello friend, this is Ramna. Today I will show a demo on how to load multiple Excel files in SSH using for each loop container. So I have written some steps to load the multiple Excel files into the destination tables. So for the convenience of the users and for the convenience of the people who, who are working to load the multiple files. These steps are useful to at the time of the loading. We will load the multiple files in the folder I have. Here I have four multiple files with same data type and it contains three columns and four rows in a bit sheet. For that, that means a country ID, country name, country code. So each sheet contains four rows. The four sheets contains 16 rows. Total 16 rows we need to load into the destination table. This is the country table. It, it also contains the same three columns with the similar structure. I want to load from data from all these from Excel sources into this table by using the for each loop container. So we will do accordingly as per the steps. So first create two variables. So I am creating here two variables. To create a variable, right click on open space, go to variables and file name. Sorry, file path. File path in the sense in the path where your files are located. My files are located in this path. I am taking this path and paste it in the value and end I put the forward slash. Directory and folder should, uh, should end with forward slash. I am taking the second file name. File name and I don't want to pass any value now itself. I will pass it in, in later stages. So close it. The so first step is completed and second one is create two connections two connections means two new connections i am taking this connection and selecting the excel as one connection and browse the path where, where you want to files located where, where your files are located so you, you can select any of these files so i am selecting the second one okay okay and go to for next new connection here i am taking oledp as new connection and my database is sample i am taking the sample and second step also is completed now the third for, for each loop container configure for each loop container i am dragging the for each loop container into the control pane so here double click and select the collection and select the enumerator file for each file enumerator and write expression to code to directory property. So if you want to iterate files from particular property you need to provide a expression dynamically. That's why I am writing the expression here for directory. What is your directory here? File path. File path evaluate expression. So from this path, every time the variable, the file path variable iterate to get the Excel files. Okay. Now then go to variable mapping and map file name to zero. This file name index start with zero. Again, go to collection. Here, there are three retrieval file names are there: name and extension, fully qualified, and a name only. So, I am taking here the name and extension, and all my ex uh, all my input files are uh, end with XLSX. So, I provide the value here dot star dot XLSX so that it will it will take XLSX files. Fourth step also completed and third step completed. Next, drag data flow task inside the for each loop container. Double click to configure and go to Excel source. Double click. So, in your connection, connection manager is already built. Just you need to take the 
sheet name the name of the sheet name and preview if you, if you want to check the preview preview this is preview columns and okay next go to OLDP destination OLDP destination here is double click so your connection manager for OLDP also is built you need to do to select the relevant table country existing so there are uh, there are no rows currently in the table mapping if you want to do any manual mapping you have to do accordingly but you observe there are some data type mismatches between input to the destination table here is then dt8 and dt14 and here it is envircar and it is vircar country code also envircar and that destination tables it's working so we need to do some data conversion here and taking the data conversion transformation and connecting with the input source double click select all columns and take the drop down button and select the country id as 4 by 5 link integer and select the country name for string dtstr country code and change the data type as 50 length data length dtstr and that change the data length as 10 as per the compatibility with the destination tables and connect the OLDP destination and data connection to OLDP destination double click Go to mappings, country ID, country name, country code. If you check the compatibility of data types, it should be equal. Country name. So I'm okay. So configuration has done successfully for this one also. Oil revision is now. Now when I go to the Last store, two more steps are there. <coughs> and first, before running the package, first one is go to collection manager, Excel collection manager, go to Excel collection manager, go to properties. Here you have the an expression field. So we want to take this Excel file path. So at the time of the loading, uh, CSV files are text files. We used to take connection string. Now in the loading of multiple file Excel files, you need to take the Excel file path property and click on expressions and try and you have to concatenate the two file name and file path here. So I am dragging the file path into expression. Plus, I'm dragging the file name, evaluate expression. So it will take the expression. Okay. If you do not write this expression, it will load only one file. What we are selected at the time of the Excel configuration manager, connection manager, it will take that file only. So if if you do the expression, it will iterate every time for the Excel files. And Final one is even though we do we do the expression, it will take error data flow task error. That means there is one option called delay valid delay valid delay validation property. By default, it is false. We need to make it as true. True. <coughs> so the final step is also done. And finally, you need to run the package. If you run the package. The table will uh, filled and the, all data will be loaded into this table. 16 rows are supposed to load into this table after running the package. I am running package now. So, yeah, it will run. If you go and check your package and table. 
So all 16 rows are loaded into this table. So this is way you know to load the multiple Excel files. The main aim of the drafting in point wise is um, many people are a little bit confused in taking all these things. And one more thing you have to re remember at the time of the de declaration of the variables in file name you haven't specified any value but uh, that doesn't mean it, it doesn't uh, hold a zero even it hold the holding the zero your expression will be fair make sure that the value doesn't uh, the value column does not have any uh, zero also in the value value field if you by, way, by default it will take zero if you uh, ignore and uh, close this one and write expression it will throw error so it won't contain any G, even zero also in the value field at the time of the declaring the variable so hope this video is helpful to you at the time of the loading the multiple excel files thanks for watching the video thank you very much